Hello neighbors, this is the Flock family from Seattle, owners at Riviera Resort, and you're listening to my DVC points. Parents and the children could have fun together. Please board quickly and safely. Our monorail will be departing momentarily. Welcome to the My DVC Points podcast. Join the conversation as DVC members share their stories, personal preferences, and magical memories. Your reservation is confirmed. Your fast passes are booked. Pull up on the yellow strap because our journey into the magic of membership is about to begin. Now, here's your host and curator of magical stories, Chad Pennycuff. Welcome home, neighbors, to episode 287 of the My DVC Points podcast. And we're doing another mini episode today on the rule of four. This gets into like DVC trivia and fine tooth information. And quite honestly, somebody mentioned this to me the other day. I've been a member for seven plus years, been creating content on DVC and helping other members learn to utilize their membership for five years. And I still had to look this one up. Before we get into today's show, let me do a huge shout out of thanks to our sponsors over at DVC Resale Market, if you're looking to buy or sell a contract, these guys are the experts there. If you just got some questions about DVC and you're researching and you want to learn more from an expert, everybody at DVC Resale Market is a former Disney Direct Guide, so you can get that Disney level of service without having to pay the Disney price tag. Call them up. They would love to come in and help you out and help you in this journey of researching, buying direct, buying resale. They've sold it on both sides of it, and they're committed to help you figure out what's best for your family. DVCresalemarket.com. Let them know you heard about them here at the Mighty VC Points Podcast. Now let's dive back into this goofy, what's called rule of four. The reason why I didn't know anything about this is this rule is limited to direct only points, which I have now. I've got a lot of direct points. Matter of fact, all of my points are direct. I've kept the direct ones and, and resold the resales. I am eligible for this, but it involves the Disney collection, excluding the hotels at the Tokyo Disney Resort. And what the rule of four is, you can use your points to book the Disney collection only in the first eight months of your use year. You cannot make a last minute booking inside the last four months of your use year. However, that doesn't mean you can't travel during the last four months of your use year. You just can't book it in the last four months of your use year for that same use year. It's also interesting to note here that the last five months of your use year, you can't bank the points. So it's almost like DVC is going, hmm, you can't bank them if you're just trying to blow them out on a hotel collection, that's not gonna fly either. You have to scratch your head and ask, why is that? Well, the answer is pretty simple. When you turn your points over to DVC, they're gonna take cash out of their own pockets and buy your hotel room at the Disney collection. So they're actually going to pay cash for that through a negotiated rate that they have with the hotels. So they're out cash. They have your points. What this rule is telling me is they need more than four months to find somebody to use those points. And then they're going to turn that over to the travel agents and say, hey, here's a room at Bay Lake Tower travel agents. See if you can find somebody to stay in it at full Disney rack rate. And then when that travel agent sells that, they get their commission. The whole travel people get their commission. After all of that said and done, DVC gets some cash back from them, kind of make them whole for whatever they spent on your hotel collection. And the reason why these guys need four months for this is it takes them at least four months to take your points, book something out of member inventory, and turn that inventory over to their travel agent arms and see if the travel agents can come back in and find a cash payer for that room. And what's left out of that is DVC gets the money back to come in and pay themselves back for the money that they spent on your Disney collection. That's really kind of what's going on under the hood with this. And that's the reason why this rule of four exists is DVC is saying, hey, we still have to abide by all of the you sheer rules that we put on everybody else when you give us these points back. We got to be able to turn it over to the travel agent engine and give them time to find us a reservation and get this thing booked. And they know a certain percentage of these rooms won't get booked. 
That's why the point charts for this are so incredibly high, because they're going to need more points to accommodate for the dead inventory. Because if they turn it over to the travel agents and the travel agents don't find somebody and that room goes empty, nobody gets paid. But DVC is still on the hook because they've already shelled out cash to book you at another hotel collection. And that is the rule of four. Hopefully this is just like Disney trivia for you that you never have to use. And I will tell you why I don't want you to use this is because when you turn your points over to Disney, you're getting just over $9 a point these days to give them your points. You can come back into our sponsors over at DVC Rental Store and get 12, 14, 16, 18, or possibly more if you have a high demand resort like Grand Cal or Beach Club. So I ask you, would you rather have $9 or $18 a point? That's kind of a no-brainer if you ask me. I'll take double anytime, any day. And then you can take that cash and come back in and book your own resort wherever you want to go. You can use your travel agent. You can use theirs through Be Our Guest Vacations. The choice is yours. You simply have more flexibility with that. That wraps up this mini episode on Rule of Four. Huge shout out of thanks to our sponsors over at World of DVC, including DVC Resale Market, DVC Rental Store, and Monera Financial. Huge shout out of thanks as well to our Patreons. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me to have that little bit of money that comes in every month that knows that I can pay for things like editing software that the newscast team really wants to use. I can do some studio upgrades here and there with that money. I greatly appreciate all of your support over at Patreon. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something in today's show that'll help you go out there and plan something magical for your family. Ladies and gentlemen, please watch your head and step as you exit and take small children by the hand. Aw, cheer up, Dad. You know I'll come back. With DVC. My DVC Points is an unofficial Disney-inspired podcast created by fans of Disney Vacation Club. The thoughts expressed in this podcast are personal opinions and personal experiences. My DVC Points is not affiliated with Disney Vacation Club, the Walt Disney Companies, or any subsidiaries. We encourage listeners to contact their DVC guide or member services for official DVC policies.